Okay, for this lesson, you will need your red book open to page 15. Your cheat sheet can go over page 14 if you have a cheat sheet, and we're going to start with our one octave scale. Now, today, I am using my cornet. A cornet is a member of the trumpet family, and I'll show it to you next to my trumpet. Okay, uh, this is actually the same amount of tubing wrapped in a different shape, right? So the, the trumpet is long and skinny in the wrapping, and the cornet is more of a compact, like circular wrapping. So the, I feel like the trumpet is, the end of it is closer to me. Um, this is a pretty special cornet. Um, my grandfather bought this when he was um, deployed in the war in, um, it, it was after World War II, but he was stationed in Austria um, and in the early 1950s and he bought this and it turned out to be like a 1912 cornet. So this is over a hundred years old. Um, the insides have been fixed up real nice so that um, it still plays, but if you keep playing an instrument frequently, like you don't just leave it in the case and forget about it, you can play it for a really long time. So I'm gonna use this today to play our scale. The rhythm for our scale today is gonna be one TT, no rests, on every note of your one octave scale, as in T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T backwards. And you're gonna try to do as many as you can in one breath. Bells, obviously that doesn't apply to you. Bells, I would like you to try to do double stops, as in B B C C D D. Okay, so you guys try that. Everybody else, give me a foot check and a back check. And we're gonna do our one octave scale up and down. T T T T here we go. One, two, ready, play. Cool. Now, if you want to try that again, I just did it in one breath. I didn't plan on doing it in one breath, but then I didn't need any more air. So if you would like to try to do it again, rewind or just pause and do it on your own, see if you can do it in one breath. We also need to review our minor scale because a song that we're gonna play today is in minor. So make sure you have your minor scale handy and we're gonna play that a little later when we go into our book. Okay, now that we're finished with our scale, we need to open our red book to page 15. We need our cheat sheet over page 14 and of course you can always have a pencil. So the first thing we wanna look at for page 15 um, is on the top. We already looked at slur. Now we need to look up pickup note. Okay, so let's see what it says. Pickup note is a note that comes before the first full measure of a piece of music. So that probably doesn't make much sense. So I drew a little something on the board that will help you. Okay, the pickup note can be an any time signature. We're going to talk about it in 4-4, but it can be any time signature. It can happen in any time signature. So let's check it out. Here's 4-4, four, four, and in 4-4 four, four, we have four quarter notes because there's four beats in a measure. One, two, three, four. Perfect, it adds up to four. Okay, a pickup note means it comes in before, it's like not a full measure. It, it could be, your pickup could be more than one, measure, one note. In this book it tells you it's one note, which is fine. So here's beat one, that's like one note by itself. Then we have our 4-4, four, four. one, two, three, four. And check out this measure. I see it only has three. Here's the deal. If you have a, a note for the song that starts before the rest of the song, it's like, well, where's the rest of the measure? Every measure has to have four beats. Well, check it out. Here's one beat. The last measure always has to add up with the first measure to four. So if we go four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, why is it only three? Well, because there's four and it was at the beginning. So that's how you will see a pickup note written and we'll check that out when we look in the book. When you look at the last measure, you'll notice that it looks like one note's missing. Well, it's not, it's whatever, it's subtracted whatever's from the front. So the way we would play this, because if, if I usually count you off one, two, ready, play, for this, you actually need to be playing on the word play, right? So I would say one, two, Three, play, pick up note, 
okay? So it's a little weird, but once you get the counting and you're and you're over the fact that there's not enough like beats in each measure, pickup notes are nothing nothing new, nothing hard to figure out. So let's check it out in our book right now. Okay, now we're ready to look at number 57, theme from symphony number 1 by Brahms. And here is the pickup note that we were talking about. So that first C at the beginning of the song is in a measure all by itself. So that's one beat. And then, of course, we would want to check and make sure the last measure only has three beats because it can only add up to four together. So I see a lot of slurs in this song where you tongue the first note and then you move your fingers for the rest of the notes under the slur. I also see a tie, and I'm sure they did this on purpose to make sure you can tell the difference between a slur and a tie. The only difference is on the tie, you're not gonna move your fingers. You just play one long note. On the slur, you actually have to change your fingers or your notes. So let's say the notes for number 57. Um, we had talked about this a couple weeks ago, but we can tell that this song is kind of fast because look at where the breath mark is. It's really deep into the song. Okay, so to play the song at the actual speed that the book had intended, you would need to take a really big breath and then move kind of fast. We're not doing that. So if you want to um, write the notes in while we're saying it or pause and write your notes and then say the notes with me, that's fine. Here we go. We are going to say the notes. So I will say one, two, three. And we need to say a C on four. Here we go. One, two, three. C, F, E, F, D, C, F, G, A, A, F, G, C, F, E, F, D, C, F, G, A, A, F, G, F. Um, cool. So clarinets, you're playing a lot with your thumb, your F key, your nothing, your A key. Trumpets, you got to do a lot of lip work with going from low C to A. So we're going we're gonna to all do it. To, we're going to play it together. We're all playing the same notes here. Um, let's try it super slow. And then, of course, I will leave you the play along track. Here we go. 57. I will say one, two, three. You need to play C on four. Give me a foot check and a back check. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> notes with your fingers. Let's try that second to last measure. One, two, ready, play. And I added the last measure because it would seem funny if we didn't finish, right? So if the slurs are too confusing to start, then just learn the notes by tonguing every single note and then trying to add the slurs. The slurs are, those are articulation markings. That means how you use your tongue and when. And those are kind of like the last things we work on after we get the notes right. All right, uh, we're gonna move on to number 58, but we need to review our D minor scale. It's the five note scale starting on D, D, E, F, G, A. And this song uses the D minor scale. So let's review. Let's just do two quarter notes on each note of our D minor scale. Remember, it's only five notes. D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, no C, we don't go to C. Okay, so let's go D, D, E, E, two on each. Give me a foot check and a back check. D minor, here we go. One, two, ready, go. 
you're going to record for me. So it looks like there's a rhythm pattern, but the notes don't actually go in a pattern. I do see a pickup note, right? We have one random A by itself before the rest of the measure gets going. And I also see that our last measure only has three beats to add up to four with the first note. Okay. But I also notice that this song is two lines long. So please don't stop after the first line. Um, let's say the notes for number 58, and of course I will leave you the play along track. Here we go. I'll say one, two, three. The A starts on beat four. So let's say the notes for 58. One, two, three. A, D, D, F, 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 G, 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 A, rest. A, 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 D, D, F, F, E. D, A, next line, D, D, F, 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 G, 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 A, rest, A, 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 D, D, F, F, E, D, and you can really tell this is in D minor. It's very sad sounding. Um, clarinets, you got to keep your fingers real close to the holes from when you go A, D, you got, don't have your fingers sticking straight out. A, but have them curved over, go down to D. Trumpets, your lips have to go tight, loose, or else you'll have some funky note coming out for D because your lips are too tight. So this is trumpets, your lips are going to be doing this, 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 this. And clarinets, you're going to be moving your fingers um, a lot, so keep them close to the keys. Let's try it together. You can play this at any speed you want. If you want to record it with the um, track for your assignment, that would be fine too. Here we go, 58. Starting with your A fingers, we start on B3. So I say one, two, three. The track might say one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I don't remember, but it's not just like play. Wait till they say one, two, three, then you can go. All right, give me a foot check, a back check, as long as you're done writing notes in, because or you don't need to write the notes. Here we go, 58. One, two, three. <laughs> Fifty-eight Erie Canal Capers with or without the track. 